Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you different ways to open up the BIOS settings of your computer depending on the brand and model of computer you're working with. I will demonstrate this on few laptops, so certainly this doesn't cover every single computer out there. But I found this collection to be a good sample space to work with. I will also show you a simple trick to use if for some reason your computer boots too fast that it doesn't give you enough time to press the required function key or combination of keys in order to boot into your BIOS settings. Now there are several possible reasons you may want to get into your BIOS settings. I have made a number of videos that require getting into your BIOS to change one or two settings in order to complete your intended purpose. Be it that you want to boot from your USB to install Windows or you want to troubleshoot blue screen or black screen or any of such errors, then this video could come in really handy for you. And now without further delay, let's get right to it. So like I mentioned earlier, the methods in this video covers majority of the laptops out there, but not all for sure. However, the good thing about it is that none of these methods will cause your computer to malfunction in any way, so it's completely safe to try them one after the other until you find the method that works for your particular laptop. Beginning with this Dell Vostro 3550, simply press the power button, then quickly check and see if the initial screen gives you any clue on how to get to your BIOS settings. Here, as you can see, it says F2 setup, meaning press F2 to get into setup. By the way, the setup here means BIOS settings, so I will quickly press F2 and wait for the BIOS page to open. Okay, seems I wasn't fast enough. Now, that happens a lot, by the way, but now I know the right key to press, so I have more chances of getting it right the next attempt. So, I will power it off and try again. And here we have it. Your BIOS page might look substantially different from this one. Certain features and functionalities might not appear in yours and some features might be placed under different menu items. Using this Dell as a reference, I will give a quick explanation of the typical settings you will find in your BIOS page. The main page here, as you can see, shows the system specifications of the computer. You have the BIOS version, the product name, processor, memory and all that. Then you have these other tabs like the advanced tab where you can enable and disable functions like virtualization and USB emulation. Here you can also enable or disable devices like network adapter, USB ports, express card, camera, microphone and all that. Then we have the security tab where you can choose what level of security you want for your BIOS and possibly for your storage devices. The boot tab allows you to enable or disable your boot devices and also set boot priorities so the system knows which device to boot first and which should follow. On the exit tab, you get to save or discard any changes you've made to your BIOS settings. Here you can also choose to reset all settings back to their defaults if for some reason you are unsure of the changes you've made. Below the screen, you would find a list of functions and their corresponding keys. So here you have the four arrow keys for movement, up and down, sidewards. For this function, some BIOS would present you with a mouse pointer to make it easier to navigate the page. Here you use the enter key for selection, escape key for exit, F10 to save, F1 for help, and F9 to load defaults. Again, this may vary depending on your PC model and the BIOS version you have on it. The second laptop is this HP Elite Book 8460P. So I'll press the power button and then look for clues on how to get into the BIOS settings. Here, as you can see, it says press escape key for setup menu. I will quickly press the escape key and then it brings me to this page where it shows different functions with different function keys. Here, I'll press F10 to get into the BIOS setup. And here, as you can see, it's entirely different kind of setup from the previous one we just saw with only file security and system configuration on the main menu. But here you have several sub menus with different settings under each one. And as you can see, the BIOS almost looks like a Windows application. It allows you to navigate the settings page with your mouse and uses checkboxes to enable or disable functions, making it easier, especially if your keyboard language is different from your BIOS language. Then you might appreciate this interface even more because with different language keyboard, you might find it difficult to navigate the BIOS settings according to the directions in the BIOS page. So I think this is a step in the right direction. I wouldn't go into details on what each function does. Most of them are self-explanatory. And if you're unsure of any function, a simple Google search could help you through it. For the older Lenovo ThinkPad series, like this Lenovo T410, these are the ones you find with a dedicated button called the ThinkVantage button. 
Pressing this button after the power button will interrupt normal boot and present some startup options to choose from. Here pressing F1 will take you to your bio setup page. Here again you have an entirely different kind of arrangement. You have the system specification and right above it is the main menu items. Here you will find your boot configuration under startup settings. Now another unique thing about this layout is that it presents you with a brief help information for each item you select as you can see on the right side in addition to the normal navigation keys below the page. Now for this ASUS G75V, I press the power button and then the escape key and it will show me this list of options and here I will use the down arrow key to select the setup option and then hit enter to open it up. For this Toshiba satellite, simply press the power button and then follow up with the F2 key to open up the BIOS settings. The same goes for this Samsung, so a power button press and then followed by the F2 key. Here is a series of other laptop brands and the possible keys or combination of keys you need to press to get into the BIOS settings. Now you must have observed that the window of time between when you press your power button and when you can press the required key to get into your BIOS is really short. For some laptops, it could be 1 or 2 seconds or even less in others. Sometimes this time is so brief that it elapses even before your keyboard is ready to issue the required keystrokes to get into the BIOS. So you might have such situations where you are pressing the required function key and yet you are unable to get into your BIOS. Now the simple trick to get to your BIOS settings in such situation is to press and hold down the required key or the initial key to get into your BIOS and then press the power button while holding it down. Keep holding it down until you get the beep or until you see your BIOS page. And by the way, your BIOS is independent of your operating system, so you should be able to get into your BIOS settings even if your computer has some major faults that prevents it from booting up. And actually, you can even boot into your BIOS settings page without a hard disk. You just need to have your RAM in place. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions on how to get into your BIOS or some other comments regarding this tutorial, please post in the comments section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.